So this morning, you're getting a never-before-seen look at the Maltz Jupiter Theater's newest performance space. Yeah, under construction right now. That's where we find T.A. Walker shining a light on the Island Theater. Hey, T.A. Good morning, Holly. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, this is a black box style theater, and it's very much under construction. And Andrew Cato is the executive director, the artistic producing director, the grand poobah of the Mall's <laughs> Jupiter Theater. Now, Andrew, I want to come in here. This is how the space is supposed to look. It's supposed to have these chairs that retract up against the wall. That's right. And it can be modified to do so many different spaces. Uh, you say you're going to get there in two months? Yeah, that's right. Um, most of the technology is already put in, so it's now just about finishing the floor, uh, painting it all black, hanging drapes, and uh, putting the seats in, and then we're, we've got a theater. Awesome. So it can be uh, like cabaret styles like they did for the Magic uh, Parlor, and if we could play that video, Moises, uh, explain how mo that modular aspect works. Sure. So for two of our productions, the first and the last show, we're going to have the, the seating as you see here, the retractable seating, yeah. 198 seats. And then uh, we can push a button, the seats fold up, they go into the wall, kind of like wow. bleachers in the high school, but nicer. Um, and <laughs> uh, and then we have cabaret seating here. We're going to be doing an aerial show. So while you're having cocktails and drinks, an aerial show will be happening over. A Is there drink service? Yeah, drink service. Oh, yeah. I love this. Yep. Okay, yes. I'll be in this one more often. <laughs> and so uh, what's the cultural significance to Martin and Palm Beach counties for having a space like this compared to your 600 and uh, 90, 659 59. seat theater. Yeah, well, um, the, this theater is designed so that we can do things that are other than our um, populist shows on our main stage. And it's really to uh, develop um, talent here in this area. So you'll be seeing cabaret shows from local artists um, and also something other than with regard to younger performances or other kind of theater. Um, something that's a little more youthful, a little more fun in here. More edgy. A little more edgy, Love yes, exactly. That. Some dramas. Um, and um, instead of large scale plays and musicals, in here we're going to be doing all the, the fun stuff. So. Love that. And it's super intimate. So uh, tickets go on sale for your season once for this whole space starting April 22nd to the general public. That's correct, yes. Beforehand for season pass holders. What are some of the shows? Just run through them briefly. Uh, sure. We're going to be doing a series of Christmas show called uh, Christmas shows called Jingle Jams, including a dueling piano show. I love uh, that. Aerial show, the, the magic show, Dennis Watkins out of Chicago. He's a mentalist. Yeah. Um, we're going to be doing uh, Becoming Dr. Ruth, a one-woman show about Dr. Ruth Westheimer, um, a drama, uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia <laughs> Woolf. So, I mean, it's a real eclectic... A group of plays. But you have two months, Ashley and Holly. Two months. It'll get done. Wow, yeah, a lot to do. Hey, construction takes a while. You got to get it right. All the little <laughs> details, that beautiful know. theater. I do love all of the modern touches and, and the beverage service. I mean, that's a real. You saw TA perk up about that. <laughs> it's a date, TA. <laughs>